to awareness, to stop what you're doing and pay attention to what's going on. We're in this experiment where we're living our lives on our own terms. And we're doing that by teaching people the job skills to, to, to do massage, which will enable you, I mean, your potential students, which will enable you to live your life on your own terms. Um, and you do that not by fixing people, but by empowering people to pay attention to where their tension is in their body and what their tension is about. And um, uh, then they're empowered to fix themselves. I'm Ann Marshall, and I've been teaching here almost 20 years now. And I teach in the uh, orientation part of the program as well as the foundations course in Swedish Massage. We changed it a few years ago. It used to just be Swedish Massage, but realizing that it was really so much more than that, we actually changed the whole title of the course to the Foundations of Bodywork and Swedish Massage. And so massage. we begin this ex exploration of meeting this person without our eyes. Um, the beauty of the Foundations course is that it's new and it's the beginning. You start with Swedish Massage, and um, so that's like increasing circulation, flushing out metabolic waste. It's um, beautiful to watch the students learn um, from such baby steps of how do I get the massage table out of the closet to how do I set it up, to how do I stand at it, um, to how do I help somebody get on the table, and then how do I touch them? How do I touch them with compassion and care and respect and in a slow enough way that's um, never a violation? And at the same time, incorporating all of the new material, all of the strokes. Um, by the end of the five weeks, they'll be doing a beautiful full body massage and working for an hour. A lot of how I see what goes on in Swedish is not only everything that Ann talks about with the mechanics of it and all that, but there's this whole other um, new way of coming into relationship with each other. So as the students are in the foundations of uh, bodywork and Swedish massage, they're also concurrently taking some communication skills classes. One of my most recent epiphany was Michael, who is really just so wise in his ways, you know, in such a quiet way. He, when I was talking about something, we were talking about polarity and I was talking about the experience I was feeling, and he made me realize that I was talking in terms of not in I, but in you. And so I began to really recognize the points where I needed to say I, as opposed to detaching myself from a, you know, particular um, Conversation. You know, one of the things, one of the keystones of our program is communication. What we're really emphasizing is the ability of a therapist to be able to communicate with their client and or any other human being. I learned a lot from each individual, as in classmates, teachers, and I really came to understanding that, like, you know, we all are here to teach each other. I'm going to use two fingers. And I'm going to walk horizontally. And when you're up in this area coming over the metatarsals, it's, I always say it's a bumpy ride because there's tendons and there's bones in here. You're kind of coming up on the hill and down in the valley in between the metatarsals. That's just the way the foot is designed. Uh, 
then there's connective tissue therapy. That's um, after they've had Swedish and reflexology, they go into connective tissue. And uh, that's working more specifically in the tissue. Uh, it could be light, it can be deep. It's often thought of as deep tissue work. Um, however, it can be very effective on a light level as well. It's working with relationships in the body and uh, working with the patterns, common patterns in the body, addressing areas that source tension, where it's often in the front, mm -hmm. and people often feel the sensation in the back, but often what's sourcing that tension is coming from the front. So we look to those relationships. And there's something that happens in the classroom, I especially feel it in connective tissue, where um, I feel like there's some element of truth that's out there beyond our consciousness that we get little glimmers of. And I feel like we dip into it in the classroom. And there's something about the process that happens with the students um, as they come into a supportive environment, connect with their classmates, um, they learn the material. There's not a whole lot of surface contact. It's not a very deep joint here. The head of the humerus sitting on the glenoid fossa. And there are moments where it dips down into whatever this is that's underneath. Mm. And it's so beautiful to watch the students. It's like, it's like they've got a, their toe in the water down there and then they speak something of this truth. Um, that is transcendent beyond everybody and yet they speak to it based on how it um, reflects for them um, so there's just something magical that's in the program it's not like we put it there but there's something that the process seems to uncover for individuals um, and it's just it's really a joy to be a part of. It's fun to watch those moments. Hearing about the way that school here is organized, that it touches into to feelings and not just academics and procedures and techniques, but learning how to trust, you know, feelings. Like the big turning point for me was like, um, and palpation, really being able to let, there's like a, there's like a big turning point where it was like, you could, it ceased to be like, oh, you know, this is an area of density, and it was kind of like the door opened, and you could really feel, you know, the person's kind of life story, and feel how the, you know, they were relating to the injury, and you can feel like the subtleties of it, and just, it was, it was kind of like reading a book in a way, about the person. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there were several fears, you know, it was like first in Swedish there was a fear of, you know, draping or being, you know, in the intent and I had to really understood what, you know, understand what that meant. Then when we went to connective tissue, um, there were emotional aspects of myself that were all of a sudden popping up. And, um, my sense, how I interact with others, my, my past angers, and now with polarity, um, there's a level of of um, how energies are being stored in your body. And we talked about it, you know, of course, in connective tissue, how certain energies get stored. I learned that a little bit. And emotions get stored in certain parts of the body. Then we got into polarity next, where sometimes you're not even touching the person. Sometimes you're just present with the person or just holding points. And all of a sudden, everyone breaks loose and, you know, has this in has incredible experiences. Like So how's polarity going? Yeah. Groovy. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's different. It's deep. Um, I really liked polarity um, because that gave me further understanding on what can come out of the quiet place. You know, it's a six-month program. About three or four months 
you know, into the program. I love just being in the hallways talking to them, and I can, you know, I see a change in how they hold themselves, their facial expressive expressions. Their, most people's shoulders have lowered a couple inches, you know, and and it's almost like they've become a whole new person. And I see this over and over and over again. And I just feel like it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing to witness. It's, I feel like I feel like I'm making a change all over, inside and out. Yeah. So it's been good. And how are you able to make that kind of a change? Well, the classes, for one, um, well, each class or each modality, there's a little bit more that not only am I learning about that modality or a particular thing that they're teaching, but I'm learning more about myself as well. So it's, I don't know how to explain it other than just that you'll learn more about yourself as you're learning how to help others. I actually thought I was just gonna come here and just learn about massage when really, you know, I learned more about myself than any, any modality that could ever be taught here. Um, which is very essential to, you know, to just, you know, being a person, just knowing who you are, just knowing about yourself. And, you know, it's just the, the way that the, the program is sequenced just adds for, the, for personal transformation as well as um, acquiring the skills of, of massage. You, you learn so much. Uh, I mean, it, it's only six months, but you, you learn enough to kind of like a lifetime of going to school. But they... to absorb it, you know, in that six months. They, they kind of go over it, and then each curriculum kind of, like Camille's, kind of worked in with the massage. So you're learning about the muscles, how they move, and anatomy, how it works, and you're also massaging those muscles that, that you know, they kind of combine it all together. It's, it's really awesome. Let's sink into that lamina groove, and then we'll just move perpendicular across longissimus. That's this muscle right here. The way I learn is definitely not just like out of the book, and I really, really am happy that there is a school such as FSM that you can just hands-on, kinesthetically, visually, just really dive in the material and just have more of an insight of what's going on. The last rib and the iliac crest. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to come off, off the spinous process. And as soon as I come off the spinous process, I'm going to start sinking in and drag my fingers across the erector spinae muscle. Yeah. It's, it, the word is bipennate, so it has fibers that are going in this direction and fibers going in this direction. And there you have rectus femoris. So tighten it up and you can see, see it outlined. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, this is called this is called surface anatomy, and um, it's in a lot of books. You can find surface anatomy pictures, or you could go online and find surface anatomy pictures. And I think for massage, it's really a good idea because it makes it more like, oh, okay, right now I'm on rectus femoris, you know. The teachers here are what strikes me as most important about the school because. So far in my life, I haven't come across a, a teaching experience, a learning experience that was so personable and um, makes you feel like they're actually listening to the person that's talking and not just li listening for the correct answers to questions or you know, standardized testing. And all. I feel like that's what helps make this a different school too, is it's so experientially based. Mm -hmm. And with heart, right? So mm -hmm. ultimately you're not trying to get people just to memorize for a test, you're trying to get them to understand, it seems to me, like concepts and how things are working so that they can be with a client and it's not just a human body, right? So you're not just going from attachment to attachment. You're using attachment to attachment yeah. to help further this connection with like heart and soul and being present with another human being. Now we start to see the muscles. What muscle is that? Very major. And here is the lateral border of the scapula. 
lateral border of the scapula is right here, okay? Inferior angle is right here, and there's the attachment of teres minor. Now I'm going through what muscle to touch this? Um, latissimus. I'm going through latissimus to touch this. Okay, this isn't right up on the surface, this is underneath, lats. Latissimus dorsi, talk by an Italian. Latissimus dorsi, talk like an Italian. Latissimus dorsi, talk like an Italian. Paul and I and our staff co-create the school. And we, we all bring in um, the skills and tools that we find that really help us be loving humans and help us be in community together. And our, our staff, it's a long-standing community. You know, Katie was Pete's teacher. Katie's our senior faculty member here. She's been here longer than anybody. I'm a senior citizen. She's a senior <laughs> citizen. You know, and she was Pete's teacher. Kate and Pete were my teacher, okay? I was, Kate, Pete, and I were Christian's teachers. You know, and there's this lineage that comes through here. And it's probably one of the most important aspects of our program because we literally speak the same language. And that's really communicated and becomes a very, very strong foundation. We are philosophically coherent mm, in how we approach stuff. And it's a real special thing about this school. So do you want to tell me about the teaching? I can go down. Just to make sure. Yeah. Better about. Right. Um, and you want to would you like to tell me a little bit about um, your philosophy of teaching? Um, well, I don't know if it's my philosophy of teaching so much as um, uh, I have a belief about uh, who we are as human beings that uh, uh, there's no greater uh, thing that we do as human living beings than uh, to touch and uh, I don't mean to touch physically necessarily but I mean in the way that we were just in a class and we talked about touching hearts share this place of knowing uh, with each other and we serve as each other's guides in this process of the blind leading the blind that we're sharing and co-creating the highest function that is possible for human beings. There's quite a bit of intentionality um, in that. What I'm talking about is not a verbal thing. Um, it's a... Uh, it, it's not a material thing even. Uh, it really uh, has to do with spirit and um, uh, with asking those questions about what does it mean to be alive? Um, Six-day-old human being. What does it mean uh, to be uh, a part of consciousness, a part of the universe? Um, and it's not the knowing of the answers that that makes those people who work here and teach here uh, good teachers. It's the willingness to be open to the questions and to ask themselves those questions and to be participants in that process. <laughs>
you know, one of the things we really encourage here is the everybody to to you know live and tell their story. It's an okay place to be who you are, and that makes a difference because for many of us, we haven't found a place where it's okay to be who we are, and hence we end up living a lie, which makes it very difficult to you know be a full human being. We learn things about reflex arcs and everything here. And really what that is, is your life gets into a rhythm. Your body can get in rhythms and holding patterns. Uh, just as your body can do it, your whole life can get into it. And you can get stuck inside this lifestyle that you may not be happy in. If you actually disrupt that rhythm for a little while and come into yourself in a space like this where you have the freedom to grow, you know, the sky's the limit. You can truly define your own happiness and find it. So, so. You know, people might have passed by here a thousand times and they just see the hands, you know. And then you come to a point in, in your life where you say, I think I'm going to go in and see what this is all about. It's definitely a magical experience and I recommend everybody. Like, before I even came here, I just, like, knew. I felt it. From the friends and family that came here before me, like, I was just like, it just makes sense to go to FSM. That's like the beginning of your just transformation, you know. Really transformative and really empowering. And I just love coming to school every day. <laughs> I've heard everybody that comes from the school is just ecstatic about it, you know. I've heard so much good things about it. And I believe them now, <laughs> and I recommend it to everybody in the world. Seems I just I love it. Every day I come here, it's I know I'm going to get a new experience. It's going to be different, and it's going to be helpful not to do just me, but hopefully to my practice or whoever I'm able to touch. So I think the school's offering a lot. I think the schools, you know. They are offering you self-healing, but they're also giving you the gift of helping and healing others. So whether personally anybody from this school is able to ever uh, physically touch anybody that I work on, they will have through me with the gift that they've given me.